How's it going guys? Anxious Cynic back again with another Vitamator tutorial. So I actually had planned to do a different tutorial this week, but I ran out of time, sort of, and uh, someone actually requested this, so I was like, you know what? I'll give that suggestion a try, and that is how to make a flashlight. So as you can see, we've got a little scene here, and I've got a skeleton because skeletons need flashlights. And uh, we're going to give him one. So I'm going to actually kind of make a little bit of a rig here. So let's see how we want to start. Let's actually just go with a block. You can actually probably use whatever you want. But since we're in Minecraft, let's say he built it out of uh, some Minecraft parts here. So let's go to wood planks. Let's bring in a, that one. And uh, let's go ahead and give it a custom rotation point, which should be eight to make that even. And we're just going to kind of throw together a little bit of rig ness here if it turns out okay i may actually include this in the description so uh yeah just keep that in mind let's go 1.0.25 and 0.25 again and that's a little bit big and a little bit long okay that looks kind of disturbing sorry about that that looks a little better and then we'll shorten it up because this is basically just gonna be our handle and that's not too bad. The textures are definitely stretched. If this uh, doesn't work out, then I'll definitely try to make something a little bit better and include it in the description. If there isn't anything there, though, then it looks like I was terrible and didn't do it. All right, so uh, before we go too far, let's go ahead and zero out that position and parent it to our dang old skeleton's right arm. There we go. And since I zeroed out the position, it snaps right to where we want it to be. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring it down. And like, so let's just say he's holding it that way for now. All right. So we need like a, a bit on the front of it. So let's say that's made out of something else. All right. So another little uh, nifty trick here. Someone actually alerted me to, and uh, I've used my animator for quite a while now and not even paid attention to this. I've seen this here, but I've never paid attention to it. So if you click on this little icon, we can go ahead and start typing. I'm going to say block of, and that's going to narrow our selection down to uh, you know whatever we typed in. So that's a quicker way of finding things. I'm just gonna go with iron here for the sake of this uh, tutorial. We're gonna go ahead and parent that to the uh, wood plank that we have, of course, and it's gonna take its shape. We don't necessarily want that, but I'll actually just use it to uh, make this a little bit easier, perhaps. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a custom rotation point to even that out and bring it up. Something like that. And maybe we'll scale it up just a tad. How about 1.25 and 1.25? Something like that. This is going to look pretty dang old terrible. All right. So I'll uh, go ahead and duplicate that one. And what we want to do is rotate it. It's going to be, let's just say, 90 degrees. And bring it out. We may not want it to go too far that way. So let's just shorten this up. Let's make it about 1.0. Again, this is going to be terrible, but we're just going to throw this together real quick and uh, have something we can use. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this and I'll be right back. All right, so we've got the uh, the head of the flashlight done. It's like a little capsule there with the interior area inside. And uh, let's just see if we can try something. I haven't uh, experimented with this before, but I want to see if we can make it work. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn in. Maybe we could do a glass plane, pane, pane, plane. Uh, probably not. Let's just go ahead and do regular glass. And uh, we'll parent that one here as well. And we're going to give it a custom rotation point. And uh, let's go ahead here. And we're going to tell it not to inherit the scale because I want to do this on my own. And as you can see, it spanned it out rather large. So let's go ahead and bring it in. And we'll try to make it fit more or less in the little hole that we've made here. It's okay if it goes a little bit beyond. And I'm going to just bring it back slightly. So that way it's kind of in there, as you can see. All right, so there is our flashlight. It's uh, probably the best flashlight you've ever seen in your life, ever. All right, so how do we make this thing light up? So what I'm going to do is go ahead and spawn in a spotlight. So you normally see me not really using lights in uh, these tutorials. If I do, it's usually a point light because we're doing, you know, non-directional type lighting. But for this one, we want something that goes in one direction. So we're going to spawn in a spotlight. And there it is right there. And uh, I'm just going to take this thing and I'm going to do what I have been doing. I'm going to parent it to our thing there, just like so. All right, so first thing we need is a darker scene. So let's go ahead and turn down the sun a little bit, something like that. 
And as you can see, we don't have any rendering on right now, so it's pretty much impossible to edit our lighting with uh, the rendering off. So we're gonna have to turn that on. And another thing to note here is in your settings, when you go to the settings cog there and you go to render, then your light buffers are set pretty low. By default, uh, spotlight is on small and I think the point light is on medium or something, but I have it down to small here. And the quality is gonna go up the uh, bigger you make this, but I would recommend not animating or editing with that on like once you're done animating and you're ready to render then come in here and turn it up maybe very big is probably okay you can make it gigantic if your computer can handle it uh, but just make it as big as your computer can handle if not uh, gigantic you just don't want to leave it on small or whatever because a lot of times it won't be quite as good so anyway you can see here already that we've got uh you know a little bit of a flashlight kind of thing going on let's go ahead and rotate them so we can see a little bit better what we're doing and uh yeah it doesn't look too bad if i can actually see what i'm looking at let's go ahead and have it doing like that so that's pretty simple uh you can just leave it at that pretty much and you're good to go you got your dang old flashlight uh the reason i put the glass there though i want to see if we can get some of the like glass speckliness or something so uh let's see if we can find our spotlight here here it is and what happens when we drag it back just a tad? And you can see right there, boom, we get the, uh, the little bit of the glass texture in there. And you can kind of make that, you know, if, I would use probably a better texture than just the regular glass. But if you do that, it kind of makes it look like there's a bit of a lens there. So uh, let's see if I can take his arm and angle it down. As you can see, we get this nice little effect with the uh, the glass and whatnot. Uh, I think for this purpose, I'm just gonna go ahead and move the, the spotlight back out. Something like so. All right, so the next question is, you know, some of this stuff should be lit up, obviously with a proper rig. Let's go ahead and turn rendering off. With a proper rig, uh, you might would have a lot more uh, going on here to make this look a little bit better. Uh, for instance, let's go ahead and take our glass. And this is something you would probably want to keyframe if possible so for instance let's say we're going to have the light off at first and then right here is where we're going to want it on so i'm going to place another keyframe for our spotlight and for our glass and here i'm going to go to the spotlight on the first keyframe and say it's not visible and then the same on the glass i'm going to have it just kind of being what it is and on this one, let's go ahead. We may want to make this one an instant so uh, it kind of comes on instantaneously. We don't want it to brighten over time. And then we're just going to bump this up. Let's just say 80, something like that. Let's turn on rendering so we can see what's going on. And as you can see there, the, the glass is uh, very bright and sticking out. And on this one, it's uh, very dark. So let's go ahead and deselect that. So when we do like this and boop. The glass is bright so obviously if you had like the right kind of texture there and whatnot that would be a lot better and we may actually want to try to change the color let's just say let's say our light has kind of an orange hue to it a little bit so we can actually tint the glass like that and that looks just a little bit better as you can see there kind of gives it more of like a, a light bulbs in there and what we'll want to do let's go ahead and look over here uh, we'll have our light and let's go ahead and select both of these keyframes because we want this to be kind of a default setting for the light. We're going to go to color. We're going to ramp it up like this and we're going to give it a little bit of a yellowish kind of color, kind of a light yellow there. And as you can see, it gives it a little bit of a tint. Uh, it really depends on what you want the color to be, of course. You can make it red if you wanted to, like a military uh, light or something, you know. You can do all kinds of craziness, but uh, we're just gonna go with uh, the basic yellow hue. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You also have your fade size here. If you can look at uh, what's going on here, let's actually probably angle this another direction here. Just go with something like that right there and uh, select our light. So as you can see, when I move the fade size up and down here, it actually determines how far the light goes and how soft the edge of it is, if you can see that there. And you have the spot radius, and that kind of makes it narrower or wider. Let's back up so we can kind of see what that's doing a little bit better, hopefully. Something like that. You can make it really narrow or really wide. And as you can see, the wider we get, it kind of messes up our rig. So you want to kind of keep it eh, somewhere in the parameter of how you're working. 
And of course we have the sharpness setting here, which kind of determines how sharp the light is. And that can vary depending on the environment you're shooting and what kind of light you're trying to portray and things like that. So uh, I feel like default looks okay for that. And yeah, there you go. There's a dang old skeleton with a flashlight. Nothing scarier than that, is it? <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's uh, pretty much it, guys. There's also a little thing here. You may notice on my work camera how this up here is not ticked. The toggle lighting and fog in the view. If I tick this, then we can see the light and kind of see what's going on here. So for you, it may be set up that way already. And you were like, well, what the hell, man? It's not doing like mine. Well, uh, you may have that ticked. So you can see the lighting here, but you notice that the spotlight is not actually showing you anything. Uh, you also have the range here I didn't play with, so... Uh, maybe we'll see that in a second. But anyway, uh, I actually was doing something with a, a flashlight animation some time ago, and I was having trouble. I was getting confused. I was like, well, I'm doing stuff. I'm changing settings, but nothing's really, like, it's not showing the things, like the fade size here and whatnot. It's not really changing the way I want it to. Uh, and then I realized that you have to be actually rendering. So you can use this setting here to see a little bit better of what you're doing with your lighting and whatnot, but it's really not going to help you as much with the details unless you have actual rendering on so you can see what a big difference that makes. So uh, there's a little tip there to help you hopefully not get confused like I did. Um, but anyway, uh, we obviously have the rain setting here. I don't think I messed with that, but that basically just determines how bright and how far the light is going to go. Typically for a, a basic flashlight, it's not going to be too too high. So default might be good. It really depends on what you're trying to do. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope this tutorial was helpful in some way. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. Uh, I apologize if there is no rig in the description. I didn't mean to tease you on that or whatever, but I don't know if I'll have enough time to make something before this tutorial comes out. So it is what it is. Anyway, I hope this helps you in making your own stuff, and I hope you have fun with this tip. All right, so thanks for joining me, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. And I will see you in the next video.